special for you. Today we are going to be making an artichoke dip. I've got a competition at work and I'm going to use this to enter into it. So uh, here are some of the ingredients. We've got some uh, chopped spinach. This was uh, previously frozen, thawed, uh, it's been drained. I've got one lemon, whipped, what is this? Whipped cream cheese. We've got some artichoke hearts here. These are chopped green chilies. I've got some garlic. Got a beautiful Vidalia onion, and I've got some mayo. Now this mayo is uh, olive oil mayo. I also have uh, my oven heated up to 400 degrees because I'm going to heat up. Uh, I'm going to serve it with naan, so we're going to use that. And I've got a, a pan here with uh, some butter into it, and I'm going to fry up my onions and my garlic. So I need to chop that up first. Butter is sizzling, so I'm gonna start putting this in very soon so we get these going. If you don't have a Vidalia onion, it's okay. You can use uh, just a regular uh, uh, sweet onion, um, something along that line. So you can even use uh, a white onion if you want, or you can use whatever you have on hand. So I'm just gonna put these in. So you only want to cook the uh, onions and the garlic for about five minutes. Well, I haven't put the garlic in there yet. I will. I always like to have the onions cooked down a little bit more than uh, I would with the garlic. I'm using four cloves of garlic. I like garlic. So I think adding more shouldn't hurt at all. So my garlic is chopped up, now I'm going to add it to the mixture. Okay, now I'm going to chop up our artichoke hearts here. Now I am following a recipe, but I'm, I'm using it loosely, so it's not going to be exact. When it comes to ingredients and the size. So for artichokes, it was about 12 ounces. I, I may have gone over it just a little bit, only because I like them. And because we have a big crowd at work today. Okay, so now I'm going to put in the artichoke hearts. We also have to add in the spinach now, or dump as I like to do. And then chopped green chilies. Now I'm going to add in two tablespoons of this wonderful olive oil mayonnaise. And I want to add in two tablespoons of this whipped cream cheese. We're also going to add in the juice of one lemon. So I like to get the most juice out of it, so I like to roll it first before I Slice it and then put the olive juice in. And then put the uh, lemon juice in. You're going to cook it for about, it's about five minutes or so. I've been probably cooking for a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to put the naan on here. We've got uh, two half sheet pans because I'm going to just heat them up and try and keep them as warm as possible until we get to work. There was a trick that we had, which was you take some water and you just flick it. There we go. And then you put it in for about five minutes. So 
So throughout the whole five minutes that you're cooking this, or however long you determine that you want to cook it, make sure you keep stirring. I've also reduced the heat down to low at this point. Now, my final step is to add in some salt and pepper. So we're just going to use freshly grated salt. And then freshly ground pepper. So my naan is ready, as you can see the oven is letting me know that it's finished. So I'm going to turn this off. So here we have one tray. And here's the second. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some olive oil on each one of these. cut it up into little pieces. So we have here's the first one. It's time for the taste test. So let's see what this is like. Mm. I like it. It's very good. Well, Thank you again for watching this little special on making a dip. My name is Brian Upward. For more episodes and videos and my regular shows, visit my website at brianupward.com. Thanks very much again for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.